Oh, never, sorry, hang on. I don't know what I was talking about. The buffalo. So I wanted a really colorful piece of art that like, was on that wall, like right when you walked in, it kind of popped and stood out to you. So the significance of the buffalo is, I was listening to a podcast, and it's been proven that when storms roll into like areas where there's wild animals, mm-hmm. I guess where there would be buffalo, uh, most animals run away from the storm. The storm's coming. There's nothing they can do about it. So they're going to have to, they're, they're just prolonging the amount of time they have to go through the storm. The buffalo, on the other hand, the buffalo runs into the storm. Because if they're running into the storm, going the opposite direction of the way the storm is going, they get to the, it's worse in the beginning, but they get through the storm faster. So that trait, I think, is A, indicative of us, not only because we deal with pretty much nothing but problems all day, every day, but we literally deal with storms. Like, we're the people that come to right after a storm, and we're gonna have storms in Alabama this week. So, um, that was the reason for the buffalo. Something, something good. Um, I've been working on the exam a lot. I'm excited about that, and Leith has really come along to do a good job on um, like helping with the cords and plugging in info and getting that stuff going. That's been huge. Beneficial on top of me. Uh, I was supposed to have lunch with a realtor today, but it got pushed tomorrow, so that's cool. And then <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll sing it up as a positive because I had a lot to catch up on today. And that's that's the the whole strategy behind my me my calendar being so ridiculous mm-hmm. when I was selling life insurance like you've never had anybody cancel an appointment on you until you had somebody cancel on life insurance appointment. <laughs> they do like All the 80% time. of them cancel and what I my strategy was is I would fill up my calendar so much that when I woke up in the morning I looked at it I had a oh my god I don't know how I'm gonna get through all this day and um when someone would cancel I was actually relieved mm. so I totally get it and yeah, my uh, quote videos are build some traction, so that's cool. And uh, yeah, Kent got a, a review yesterday. I'll read it out loud, even though most of us I saw that. Oh, have seen it uh, from Chandler the movie. Uh, I've got to say, the video explanation of the homeowner's quote Kent has sent to my buyer was awesome. I honestly feel like it made me look better, and it adds another personal touch. So not just a page of numbers on it. You already knew that, of course, but. I just wanted to say it's next level service and I appreciate it for rocks. So hey, look, if you're a loan officer or you're a realtor, <laughs> give us a shout, we'll do right by you. I think like going forward, like if the lender or the realtor ever CCs the client on the email like they did with you, mm-hmm. going the video clear route yeah. is mm-hmm. super important. Well my good news is that uh, my wife is expecting. And wow. We found out <laughs> that it's a boy. Awesome. So we're all excited. We got it. <laughs> so we told my parents last night and I um, almost wore a pink shirt just to, just to, because I knew my mom was going to be analyzing us when we walked in the door. So, yeah. I think I'm at Clayton like, just wait. Yeah. yeah, did you want to tell her yet? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? He's like, remember her secret now, okay? Because I wanted to tell y'all, I didn't want you to find out. I don't know. She just dropped the pictures of babies. <laughs> 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 so so I know I know all of that was probably you know different what else have you learned oh it's, it's what been three years three or four years now since you've started your agency four years four um, we just hit year four finished year four and got that behind us um, but yeah so we have gone through a lot in those four years and every year has presented a new challenge and you just have to be willing to to admit whenever something doesn't work and change it and this year it looks like the newest challenge is going to be figuring out how to have a newborn with an agency Uh, are you you kidding me right now are you serious is this happening on the podcast (laughs) Damn. So 
Yes. You have good news about the weather. And wow. And we came on the podcast to tell you that good news. Wow. We put you on the spot. <laughs> Man, that is freaking awesome. Congratulations, guys. That is awesome. Thank oh you. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm very rarely a Scott Howell speechless. I am speechless right now. So, <laughs> so let's get into that for a second. So we, we are... We are we are about to uh, change to have the an endorsement to the Flowers family. Absolutely. So do we know what we're having or is this still kind of an early stages kind of thing? No, we um, are having a little boy. Well, congratulations. I'm <laughs> so we happy. thinking of the name Scott? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> You, you got to go with something better than that. Hey, as soon as as soon as like not not as soon as, but very short after finding out, she's like, okay, now here's how we're gonna tell Scott. Absolutely, <laughs> this was her idea. Wow. So 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 we're gonna have a little a little boy. What when's our due date? It's the beginning of September, first week. Okay. Okay. So not too terribly long from now. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, hey, on behalf of the two hundred fifty thousand agents listening right now. <laughs> I want to say congratulations to both of you.